All right, it's time to retire. Not actually, but it would be good to have a plan. Stick around, we're gonna talk about this. Welcome back guys, I am Dan from MillennialMotivator.ca helping you learn how to create, engage, and inspire. If you're new to the channel, click that like button down there, the little subscribe button next to it. You get notified when my next video goes live if you click the bell. Today what we're talking about is retirement. N not actually guys, I know it's been a while since you saw me here on YouTube. Uh, I had some personal stuff that I, I just had to deal with. It took me out of the loop for a couple weeks, but I'm back at it. It's exciting and I wanted to get my first video back to be a book review. These things are probably the more popular ones on my channel. Uh, as you guys know, I'm an avid reader. I, I love listening to the audiobooks. So I get all kinds of great recommendations. Some people just have started sending me books. This is one of those. Plan Smart, Retire Right by Richard Zeitz. Now, give you guys a breakdown if you haven't seen a book review that I've done here before. What I like to start doing with this is three things. One, is the book readable? Okay, so did I enjoy reading it? Was it a quick read? Was it a hard read? Did I find it difficult? Did I find it complicated? Did the author do a good job? Next, I wanna look at the author themselves. And I think this is something that is largely missing here on YouTube reviews is taking a look at the author. Are they qualified to speak on it? Are they somebody that is just spewing information they found elsewhere? Or are they actually talking on something that they know it's their bread and butter, it's their career, it's their education, whatever that may be. So I wanna take a look at that. And then overall, I wanna give you guys a review on the video, let you know whether or not the book is of value for you. So. This one today is about retirement. It's a topic that is going to be core whether you're an entrepreneur or somebody that is an employee or a business owner. Everybody's got this there. Even if you are someone like myself that doesn't see retirement in their future necessarily, this book is about being financially prepared for the future that you have planned. So stick around, let's check this out, see whether or not this book is worth your while. Let's go. Okay, first and foremost, the book on retirement. Is it easy to read? Now, a lot of you have read books similar to this. So Dave Ramsey's Money Makeover, you've got uh, financial books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad that are out there. There's all kinds of these books in this genre that are there for you. The reality is most of those books either pull in a lot of difficult financial concepts or they're concepts that I don't necessarily agree with. So Rich Dad, Poor Dad, for example, it's one of the bigger ones in the industry. I have a huge issue with it because it tells people to play with debt. Uh, I'm not a big fan of playing with debt. I'm a huge advocate against playing with debt, but there that is. Um, so that, that's a book I wouldn't recommend. You won't see it in my stack. It's not something I recommend for you guys. Uh, Dave Ramsey's Money Maker, uh, Money Makeover. That's one I do recommend because he keeps it simple. He keeps it reasonable and he keeps it relevant. Um, for you guys though, this book here, I find it's so simple to read. Anybody can read it, pick it up and run with it. I could give it to my kids. They could read the book, understand it because the language is simple, the process is simple, and everywhere along the way, there are actually URLs, there are links that you can go through, click to, and there are resources readily available for you. So Richard Zeitz, who's the author of the book, has done a phenomenal job presenting what can often be seen as a complicated topic in a very simple way. The language is simple, the demonstration of it is simple, the process of it is simple, the book as a whole is not an overly long read. We're not talking an omnibus. It's it's a very short, concise read. So the steps are simple. The language is simple. The book is simple. And that's a powerful tool when it comes to a complicated concept like financial investments, like long-term investments and investment planning. Now, for a lot of people, this topic may not be exciting, but the reality is it's essential. It's crucial. You're going to be at a point in your life at some time where you're going to wish that you have a financial nest egg prepared and ready for you, whether you're looking for long-term retirement or whether you're just looking to be financially stable in older age. This book is a simple tutorial and guide to get that done. So I highly recommend it for that, guys. Definitely worth taking a look. All right. So the first step of would I recommend the book just based on simplicity, how the book is written, is it functional, is it something that you guys can use? Yeah, that's there. The next one that I wanna look at though is, does the person writing the book have any authority to be writing the book? And this is a bigger and bigger issue as we move, I guess, into this millennial era. There are a lot of people that are claiming to be experts, gurus, but they don't actually walk the path that they're advocating. Okay, so uh, whether they're people that are writing motivational books, self-help books, finance books, uh, medical advice, nutritional advice, health, fitness, you name it, whatever. The reality is there are a lot of people using the term expert, guru, but does it apply? I want to make sure that when I'm reviewing books, I've got that there. The people that I'm, I'm reviewing the books 
I, I want to make sure that guys like Gary Vee have actually done what they're telling you to do. Guys like uh, Tim Ferriss have done the things that they're telling you to do. And that's what makes their books so great and so highly recommended from me is that not only have they written down this great information that's very useful to you as an entrepreneur or just as a person, but I also want them to be very clear that they have done this themselves and seen the results from it. I know that the books that I've written, it's been that. I've given you guys the processes that I've used in order to build community to find success as a consultant, as a digital marketer. Now, I wanna make sure that that's true for this as well. So Richard Zeitz, who is he, what has he done? pictures on the book, but more so than the picture. What's amazing about Richard Zeitz for me is this. All along the book, he provides you resources that point you back to his website to let you know this is who he is. He's active in this industry. He is somebody that has done this for a significant amount of time, almost a decade. Uh, he, he's been at it. He's been plugging away. He's had great success as an investment counselor, advisor. It's been great. He has a career that's there. Okay, so that's super powerful to see that he has a website. He's got a business. He is validated. He's got references from past clients that have said he's done a great job. He knows what he's talking about. Even furthermore, when you get right into the book, he starts it off with saying, I didn't need to write this book. I was perfectly happy just continuing doing my career, having a, su a successful business. I didn't get around to writing a book because I didn't see the need. What he did realize was after having a conversation with several people who have written books is that he can get his knowledge to more people and help more people. Now that, that may not seem like a big deal to a lot of you, but legacy is a big deal to those who have had successful careers. It's one of the reasons I do this show here. I want to reach more people and help more people to get into the life that they want. Right? So, Richard Zeitz, does he have the accreditation? Yes. Is he a financial advisor? Yes. Has he had success doing that? Yes. Now, it's easy for us to toot our own horn. That's simple to do. The next step that we want to look at when we're validating the authors is who else says it? Now, for you and me, we may not be big in the financial planning industry. I, I, I'm not. I don't claim to be in any way. But there's a forward. Oftentimes when you see a celebrity forward on a book, it's important to go figure out who that is. So this one's saying Tom Hegna. Now Tom Hegna is actually a big name as far as a, a, a speaker, uh, a, a, an informative source of information for investment planning, retirement planning. He's huge, he's a big name in the industry. He's like the Grant Cardone of investment for retirement, okay? He comes out in this book and pulls no punches saying, this guy is legit. Richard Zeitz knows what he's talking about. He's informative. He's helpful. He, he will walk you down the right path. And that's a big, big thing to have. Imagine you're writing a book on real estate and how to use real estate for investment and Grant Cardone does your forward. It's a big deal, right? You're doing physical fitness and health and The Rock gives you that, that quote, that, that forward for your book. It's a big deal. Tom Hegna is that level for this genre. So not only do we have accreditation for, from Richard Zeitz himself, transparency to show you the website and, him, and his career, his references, but we also have somebody who's a leader in the industry supporting the book and saying that the content in the book is on point and good for you. So that's another positive for the book. Great stuff. What's next? Okay, guys. So the book is simple to read. It's got great information. It's got great resources available for you. The author is accredited. He's transparent. He has support from the industry saying that he is who he says he is and he knows what he's talking about. So is it worth it? Is it worth it for you to grab the book and pick it up? Here are a couple scenarios, guys. Overall, just as a general rule, is it worth picking it up? Yes. Should you pick it up if you have no retirement planning whatsoever and you are over the age of 30? Absolutely. This is a must pick up. You have to grab this. If you're under 30, you should pick it up. Honestly, the earlier you start your retirement or end of life financial planning, the easier it's going to be for you. And this book makes it super simple. Now, is this book for everybody? I'm going to add a caveat here. Okay. This book is phenomenal as far as a resource goes if you are US based. There's a lot of great resources that call it to using different tools that are available to US citizens. 401ks, yada, yada, yada. There's a ton of resources in here for that. Now, if you are internationally based, so you're like myself, you're up in Canada, let's say you're in South America, maybe you're over in Europe, you're in Asia, the book has a lot of mentions to resources that are out there that won't be directly applicable to you and your financial planning. That being said, however, the system and processes, the charts and tools that are provided in this book are still beneficial to you. They are still tools that you can use. And honestly, it takes two seconds to do, to do a Google search and find the equivalent to whatever the US is in your country. Most countries have some, for, some form or another of retirement planning, retirement savings that you can plug into. It takes two seconds on Google to go, oh, you said 401k? What's the equivalent here in Canada? And you just plug in in the same way. The tool works relatively the same way from country to country. 
the book is still a valued resource. So if you are US based over 30, this is an absolute must. If you're US based under 30, I highly recommend it. If you are outside of the US, it's still a great read. It's still a valuable resource. I do recommend you get it just for the charts and the resources alone. It's a great read. I highly recommend this one, guys. Now, that being said, Richard Zeitz did a great job on his book. I want to know, what books do you recommend I read? I, I'm sitting here. I've gone through this stack. I've got all this stuff done. I need some more reads. I need some more books. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys are reading right now, what you think is of value. Anything, guys. Fiction, nonfiction, preferably nonfiction, so I can apply it directly to helping you guys grow. If it's a if it's a must-read fiction, fine. Let me know down below. Um, anything, though. Health. Hustle, happiness, throw it in there. I'd love to read it. I'd love to see what you guys are reading and enjoying and give some feedback and review. Thank you so much for watching. And if you know somebody out there who's in need of financial planning, definitely get them to check out Richard Zeitz's Plan Smart, Retire Right. Catch you guys tomorrow with another great video.